Alrighty, so hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And this reading is for Libra. So happy New Year's Libra. I want to take a uh, time real quick and shout out my paid for sponsors, Shock Therapy. If you're interested in it, having your chakras aligned or utilizing any um, holistic health products to, you know, just feel better overall, the link is in the description below. Also, if you use my coupon code, then you will receive 10% off your first purchase. So if you like the content on this page, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to receive a personal reading, my Patreon link is also in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading for Libra. Spirit, what do we have for Libra moving into the year of 2020? All right, Libra. So Spirit is saying that take note of these intuitive messages that you've been receiving okay you know surrounding the mood there's a lot of uh your intuition is you know starting to pick up so make note of the things that you are seeing or the things that you're feeling in the year 2020 okay just moving into 2020 that way you can understand you know which direction you should be going whether you're on the right track or whether you're not you know so just stay focused and taking note of those messages it's a lot of traditional things that uh, spirit is saying that you need to let go okay a lot of traditional guidance that you need to let go so moving beyond those patterns that your ancestors instilled in you some of them are good to keep but a lot of them you know was holding you back so definitely getting rid of um getting rid of that getting rid of that because is cause is causing the procrastination okay so taking those intuitive notes and getting rid of those ancestral patterns some of those ancestral beliefs don't resist here it's a lot of you know love coming in your way so don't resist it you know love and allow yourself to be loved you know whatever you endured in the past like that has nothing to do with what's going on right now so just allow yourself to be loved all right you know, dig deep, do a lot of hard work in the year of 2020, you know, so that a lot of the stuff that is, you know, tying you down and continuing to resurface in your life that you could let all that stuff go. Lots of meditation in the year of 2020 on the forecast for Libra. OK. Some of you guys are, you know, a bit argumentative and what spirit is saying is you don't have to be right in every situation. So, you know, letting go of the need to be right, meeting everybody with le with light and love, you know, if they, if they are wrong, then they're wrong. You know that they're wrong, you know, so just letting go of that bull energy in the year 2020 because you don't have to be right in every situation. And seeing things from a higher perspective. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot going on. And so what the divine is saying is you don't want to think small. All right. You want to think big. Like they're sending you all of these signals and all of these messages. And so they want you to think big. Forget all of this. That right there, that needs to go. They want you to focus on what it is that they're telling you. And they want you to see it see whatever it is that you want to do bigger than you ever believed that it can be before so you need to see that not focusing on all of that other stuff because all this other stuff it, it is keeping you back except for the love allowing yourself to be loved but these ancestral patterns here these traditions that you're accustomed to and also this need to be right you know you're right so who cares if someone see, knows that you're right? You know you're right. That's all that matters. And here you go unleashing this animal within. See, there's a beast within you. There's an animal within you. So it's time to unleash it. If you are a feminine energy, it's time to release that divine feminine energy and allow the world to see it. Okay? Allow the world to see it. It's time out for all the niceness. It's time out for all the games. Okay? So just allowing the world to see that. But definitely, Libra, focusing on those messages. Those messages have all of the answers that you need from the divine in them. Okay? So those messages 
have all of the context clues in it from the divine that you need all right so just really paying attention to what they're signaling you especially around the moon cycles the different moon cycles really paying attention to those cycles focusing in on what you're thinking about during those times the feelings that you're feeling during those times the emotions that you're feeling during those times and you know taking note of that even so that you can understand like all of the different signals synchronicities that are coming your way paying heavy attention to the synchronicities that the divine is uh sending your way as well so paying heavy 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 attention to those messages because that is where all your answers are going to be well a lot of your answers are going to be there for the year 2020 so the fertility card pops out so there's going to be the a birth of something you know it's going to be a birth of maybe a brand or a business or a new career opportunity. Something, a birth of something. You're going to be brewing up something in the year of 2020. You also, again, confirmation that you need to work on, you know, some things of the past. All right. Heart chakra. The heart chakra needs a lot of work. Okay. Because what is going on is, is that a lot of triggers are coming up for you came up for you in the year of 2019 and moving into 2020 you do not want those same triggers because then there's no growth there so lots of heart chakra work that's what shock therapy is going to come in handy at i'm telling you but a lot of heart chakra work that way you know you are grounded for the year of 2020 and you're prepared because you don't want to you don't want the same triggers to continue to resurface in your life as it did and represent itself in your life as it did in the year 2019 because towards the end of 2019 you guys was having a lot of grief it was a lot of you know spiraling energy towards the end and so you you want to you want to clear the year feeling good and feeling right all right patience libra the divine is telling you to have some patience. Some of y'all ain't got no patience, okay? So you need to have some patience. Be calm, you know? You planted the seed. It's growing, all right? It's two sides to every scale. So just be patient, all right? Don't send yourself up in fumes. Don't be getting all upset for no reason. Just really working on your patience here, all right? Let's see what else we have, Libra. What else does the divine has for Libra? The heart chakra. Heart chakra is going to help with patience. All right. This card fell out. Oh, purification. All right. So that's where that detox come in at. That meditation. Clearing mind, body, and spirit. So you're going to have to do a lot of cleansing and a lot of detoxing here in the year of 2020. All right. It's, it's not a game. That's how you're going to get your... That's how you're going to get to where you need to be. You're going to have to clear that energy, though. You got to clear energy from years ago. Because this isn't new energy. This is old energy. Alrighty. Let's see. What else does Libra have? So, you're able to discern answers for yourself. Alright? That's when these intuitive messages come in handy for them. You're able to discern messages for yourself. You have what it takes to to find your own answers. But you have to do the work. That's the thing, Libra. You got to do the work. If you're not willing to do the work, ain't nothing going to change. So you have to do the work. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with your words. All right? And so they want you to write. You entertain with the words you write. So they want you to write. I want you to do a lot of writing here in this season, okay? But that's part of them saying taking note. Like, they need you to take note of all of this, all right? Because you need to understand, you need to see the signals that they're sending you. Like, you're kind of seeing them, but you're not, all right? So they like, you need to take note of this so that you can have this life that you want, all right? So you're gonna have to work on your um you're gonna have to work on your 
your chakras definitely you're definitely gonna have to work on this heart chakra it can't the heart chakra is present again so you're definitely gonna have to work on your heart chakra so a lot of hard work for you in the year of 2020 libra and that and all of this is all this is is letting you know the things that you need to work on so that it doesn't represent itself in this year all right because we asked the guidance of what do you need to know moving forward you're doing good but you're not doing as good as you could be doing because you have all this picked up issues third heart chakra card so this is something that the divine really wants you to pay attention to okay because now it's here again for the third time all right in a whole different deck this is an entire these are three different decks and all three decks are telling you to work on your heart and be patient and focus and write things down and meditate and heart chakra all right so a lot of hard work the answers that you seek is in your heart right now be open to giving and receiving love giving and receiving love some of you guys some of you guys have, are, you know, having some issues in the love department right now. It's not for all of you. Again, this is a general reading. So a lot of some of this stuff may not even resonate with some of you, half of you guys listening. And it will resonate with a lot of you, you know. But it's a lot of hard work that needs to be done in this year. Speaking of heart, we might as well go ahead and move into the love direction and see what's going on over there. So you do have a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So there's somebody out here liking you, all right? Someone likes you out here, you know, but no one wants baggage, okay? So you got you got a lot of work to do when it comes to the hard work. But all that is is a little meditation, you know, doing a little bit or a lot of bit of meditation, You're asking spirit, like, what do I do? What do I need to do to heal? You know, heal myself of this. That's all you got to do. I'm going to pull a whisper. See what they're saying. As overall love for Libra. Like what's what's going on in the love department for Libra. What guidance do spirit have for Libra. In this love department. So for Libra. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you. And brings happiness to those around you. So simple acts of kindness is, you know, what you could expect in the year 2020 as far as the love department. It's going to be a lot of simple acts of kindness coming your way. Okay, you just got to be open to receiving them. All right. You got to be willing to receive them. And that's it. But yeah, definitely paying attention to those messages and doing that work. And you're going to be good to go. So let's... Spirit, let's pick it up. What's going on? What what? How much abundance is Libra going to get in this new year coming up? Like, Libra needs this abundance. What they got? So, Libra, Spirit is saying you got a new beginning, okay? Once you do this hard work, it's a new beginning. It's a whole new awakening for you. you you're going to be on top of the world. You saw how she was standing on top of the world? You're going to be on top of the world, Libra, once, um, once you do this hard work. And that hard work isn't hard. Like I say, meditation, meditation. But it's definitely going to be a new beginning. It's going to be like a fresh start. There are going to be some movement, choices, and decisions being made about your finances here. A lot looks like some of the seeds that you're planting are sprouting. Uh, some of you guys will be getting married here. Finances are definitely going to be in order. So lots of, you know, lots of projectiles for Libra in the year of 2020. So new beginning, finances, money, marriages. Things that you've been working on, seeds been planted, like it, it is picking up, okay? It has picked up for Libra. Now it's saying that there are some boundaries that you're going to have to establish. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demand your time and energy. So a lot of people, those leeches, you know, that like to drop their problems off on you, Libra, because y'all are good listeners. It's, you got to tell them, uh -uh, not this year. This year, I don't got time for you, all right? I'm going to have to just focus on myself because Spirit said that I need to focus on my heart and pay attention to the message they send to me. And if you over here talking to me and doing all this stuff, then how am I supposed to 
focus on me and I'm worried about your problems. No, establish them boundaries. It's okay to tell them no. It's time I fall that. Focus on Libra and Libra alone. Focus on Libra and Libra's family. Nothing outside of Libra. Don't focus on nothing outside of yourself. All right. It's all about you in the year 2020. Because look at this. Those extra people causing mental conflict. You know. Those extra people and not establishing those boundaries and 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 and, and all that causing mental conflict. You don't have time for all that, Libra. You got to do what you got to do because you got a new beginning approaching. And this new beginning, this new beginning don't got time for people that ain't trying to get their life together. You don't have time for them. 2020 is going to be so much harmony for you, Libra, if you do that hard work. It's going to be so much harmony, so much peace, so much balance in your life. You ain't going to know what to do with yourself. You're just going to be like, oh, you know, it's going to be like heaven on earth. You know, so definitely focusing on that heart, listening to the messages, okay? You ain't got time for all that extra stuff, Libra. Look at this, bold. You're going to unleash a venture side of you. You're going to be taking risks and doing daring stuff in the year 2020. In the year 2020, you're going to do stuff that you never thought that you could do or that you never thought you had in you. That's what Spirit is saying. You just got to get rid of all that stuff that's distracting you, like... Time I fall, them people, they've been holding you down for over a decade. Good riddance. You are powerful. So it's you're powerful. And when you do your spiritual work, spirit is pleased. The divine is pleased with you when you do your spiritual work. So do your spiritual work. Because when the divine is pleased, they just bless you anyway. You know, that's how it works. You give some, you take some, you know. You take some, you give some. So they giving you all these blessings, these magnificent blessings. Go ahead and take your time to do your spiritual work and do your spiritual care. In the year 2019, you felt a little discontentment and boredom, but this card was upside down. So you're, you're walking away from all of that, that discontentment and boredom. So all that is of your past. That's not even, that's not even part of your present life anymore. Okay. So your perspectives are shifting like things are changing for you like spirit is like yep things are changing in the air guardian of all things right because you're an air sign so things are changing for you perspectives are shifting things are starting to work out in your favor not in anyone else's favor after you do this work so libra your message is very clear the divine is saying that they're sending you all these signals and all the, these cues and they want you to take time and acknowledge the signals and the messages that they're sending you. They want you to sit down, you know, write it out. If you have time, if you're on a move, pull your phone out, write out these messages because they're sending you clear messages. And then do your research on the messages that they're sending you. Them ancestral patterns are holding you back. A lot of things that have happened to you are the reason why you're procrastinating. Things that have happened to you in the love department got you all discombobulated. So that's why the divine is saying like, look, all you got to do is just work on your heart chakra. And then we're going to open up this whole opportunity of things from you for you. All right. Do your heart chakra work distance yourself from people that are draining you these energy vampires okay distance yourself from them establish boundaries time to say no i'm no longer focusing on you and your problems you've been dealing with that for five years now you you now you keep coming over here and bugging me no i'm saying no i'm not taking your problems with me into 2020 if you ain't got nothing good to say to me then don't say nothing to me at all that's how you're gonna have to be libra okay so definitely, once you do that and you establish those boundaries, you, and you're going to see that your mental conflict is going to go away. All right. Mental conflict is going to go away. Now, some of you have already have love interests. For those of you that don't have a love interest, there is someone that is checking for you that you don't even know is checking for you. All right. But again, don't enter into that until you work out all these heart chakras and everything like that. But there's going to be a resolve to any of your mental conflict. Any discontentment and boredom, there's going to be a, a resolution to that. That stuff is not going to bother you anymore. 
And if I said once all that is complete, then you're going to have a new beginning in not just your money, but in the seeds that you planted and in your relationships. So it's going to be a new beginning in all aspects of that faucet. And there's going to be harmony. Yeah, final energy is harmony. So listen, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you like the content on this page, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, click the link below and go on to my Patreon and I will talk to you all later.